I don't entirely think I like this location or the way I've set it up, but I can't think of anything better to do in my room at home. Like, my room at home is really tiny, so this is gonna have to do. I've written a blog post about this in the past, but um, I really wanted to get into it and do more of a rambly video about it because uh, I am really suffering right now. So, why not talk about it? Needed to film a video. I feel like my blog um, my social media upkeep and everything I do makes me look like I'm really organised and like I know what I'm doing and like I don't know I have some grasp of life and organisation but I feel like such a fraud when people say that or think that I don't know what I'm doing at all does anyone I, I just I, I, I just I wanted to talk about overworking because I am the biggest culprit of overworking in the world. On the surface, it looks like I'm balancing everything really well and I'm like just bouncing between things and like flitting along and like doing this and doing that, but I'm not. I just take too much on and spread myself too thin and every so often I self combust, which is what is happening at the moment. Seriously, just wait a moment, my head will like everywhere. My issue is that I'm really good at saying no to things I don't want to do, but right now everything I'm doing that's taking up all my time is stuff I want to do. I am so preoccupied with, well obviously like uni and essays and I never miss a deadline so that stuff was all happening and that takes up a huge chunk of time. But then I have blog posts which take anywhere between half an hour and two hours and I do three of those a week and then I also film and edit two videos a week and the filming isn't that bad but the editing takes a good two hours. I'm like deputy editor of one of the sections of my uni's newspaper and I'm writing a book and I'm interning and I just, I just, I, <laughs> I need to give something up but there's nothing I want to give up. Yes people talk about uni students struggling but I figured What's better than seeing a uni student amidst her whole crisis? I love my degree in the sense that I'm doing these subjects that I have a genuine interest in. But it's just, it's a lot of work and I knew it was going to be a lot of work. And I feel like the strikes and the lack of organisation and the fact nobody knows what they're doing right now has just made me so numb to everything uni related but I'm still doing essays and stuff and it's just made me realise I like everything else that I'm doing in my life right now that's taking up all my time, that's causing me stress because I've also got to balance with uni so much more than uni itself. And that's not a bad thing, I didn't like school 24-7, I didn't like school the closer I got to GCSEs or the closer I got to A-levels, but I liked it and I did it and that's what I'm going to do with uni. But I am just really bad at overworking. Saying yes to blog events and saying yes to guest posts and saying yes to writing freelance articles in magazines. I do all of this because I genuinely love it. But I don't have the time. I make the time. I shouldn't be doing everything that I'm doing. I'm driving myself crazy. Can you tell? Maybe you can't tell. I can tell. My brain is legitimately goo right now because I've just been going and going and going and going. I think this is the first time I've genuinely noticed a difference in the way that my brain is performing in the sense that it's just goo. I'm making typos way more than I have in the past. I sit down to write things and it takes me twice as long as it used to. I need to recharge but I won't let myself because I have so many things to do. I am one of the editors for my university's well-being section. I stress the importance of self-care on a regular basis and yet I won't let myself take care of myself. See? Gooey brain. I do need to relax and I will at some point, maybe, but it's just, it's, it's taking its time. And this is what life's like sometimes. You can give all the advice in the world and you still can't really follow it. I'm getting there. I am cutting down on blog posts. I usually do three a week. I'm gonna do two a week for a while. I'm slowly making my way through the massive list of stuff I have to do and it doesn't look as scary anymore. Although I'll have to add like editing this video onto the end of it, which adds more to my to-do list, so that's fun. I'm giving myself time off. I'm giving myself just time to socialize 
with family, friends, whatever, but socialising that takes up a day and then I've got essays to write and then I've got other things to do and I just, yeah, I need some me time. Sometimes life gets a bit much and that's okay, you just gotta get better at, like, giving yourself time and that's what I'm gonna do. Did this video have a point? Who knows? My brain is goo. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this Chatty Tuesday. If you want to watch my other Chatty Tuesdays, you can do so here. I will see you next Tuesday for another Chatty Tuesday and Thursday for a vlog. Maybe. I don't know how many vlogs I have left based on what's going on in my life right now. We'll see. Bye!